Yeah, it's really funny. So when Meetup launched, it um, was nothing like what Meetup is like now. It was a very different model whereby uh, a computer in New York would randomly assign people to go to locations, uh, which is where the meetups would occur on a specific date related to a specific interest. So we um, had a hypothesis that it would be valuable to restaurants, it'd be valuable to cafes and bars to be able to host meetups, because what is that? That's foot traffic coming through the door with people who are, you know, can become customers and spend money there. So how do we prove that? I got a list of the places where meetups were gonna happen and I just started cold calling them. And the first one I called was Ben's Chili Bowl in Washington, DC, which as it turns out is a very famous institution. I had no idea at the time. I'd never heard of them before, but Ben's Chili Bowl in Washington, DC. I called them up. I said, we're sending you 14 people next week. If you'd like, I can do that every week. It would just cost, and he said, yeah, that'd be interesting. I said, he said, how much would that cost? I said, a dollar a person, $14. Uh -oh. And he said, uh, okay, that sounds great. <laughs> and so sure enough, I got off the phone and I thought we had struck gold. I was like, this is gonna be the biggest business ever. I've got a hundred percent hit rate. And so I called the next person on the list and they told me to just buzz off. And I called the next person, they told me no, and the next person no. But what was interesting after I talked to them, after they said no, I would say to them, look, I'm not gonna pitch you anymore. I won't take your money if you try and give it to me. Like I'm not selling you right now. But can I ask you, was there anything about what I just said that was interesting to you? Anything at all? And they said, well, getting more traffic is good, but I don't care about getting more people on a Friday night. I got to line out the door on a Friday night. But if you can give me people on a Tuesday afternoon, my restaurant's empty then. I'm really, that, that'd be much more interesting to me. And so very quickly after doing this process of like giving a pitch, hearing no, asking what would be interesting and refining it with the next person, Within like 20 to 30 calls, I pretty much honed in on a pitch that was pretty darn good. But that was good enough to help Meetup get its uh, its first round of financing with, you know, a revenue model, which uh, was uh, we were raising at a time when um, it was just after the dot com bust, the first one, and so it was a real problem, and uh, it was like a real important thing to be able to prove revenue, and so that was kind of a really cool key thing that we were able to do at that point.